Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for watching Flex Volleyball. In this video, we're gonna talk about the footwork that you should be using when you are setting. And I guarantee you that most of you are thinking you know what I'm gonna say, and it ain't it. So let's get to it. Okay, so for most of us, just coaches and setters in general, you probably think you know, I know exactly what he's gonna say. He's gonna say that footwork needs to be left, right, set. That's not what I'm going to say, okay? What it should be is whatever footwork you need in order to square up to your target. And usually that is going to be right, left, not left, right, okay? Now at the beginning stages of setting when we're coaching this, using the left, right, and set can be beneficial because it's allowing them to do this rocking step motion so that they can push it out to that outside position a little bit better when they're a little bit weaker. But once you develop, you don't need that rocking step anymore in order to get that ball to your target okay and then even in that case left right okay i could easily go right left push and set that ball so there really is no benefit between the two they both accomplish the same thing um but when we get into it right left is going to probably be what you're using most often okay now the only time that i'd say using the left right um Footwork is somewhat appropriate is if you're moving towards the net, left, right, so I'm turning and I'm squaring up to that outside position. And we always want to try to turn and square up to the outside position even if we're setting these other positions. And I'll get into that here in just a little bit. Okay? But even then, if I come up here, if I'm here ready and waiting, okay, then I don't need to do the left, right anymore. I can still go right, left, set, as long as I'm squared up to that outside position. Now, if I'm already on the net and I have to um, transition off the net in order to get that ball, which is probably going to be 80% of the balls that you're getting. Okay. Now I'm going to try to do a right, left footwork, right, left. So now I'm using that left foot to swing around and then set to that position. So I'm squaring up to that position right there. Okay. So it'd be, I'm here, right, left, square up and set. Okay. Versus doing something where I'm going like this, and set. So that step, that right step, I didn't need it because I can just turn that right, I mean that left foot around and then that's it. And I'm here squared up ready to set that ball. And typically when we square up, we don't want to say square up to the pin. We want to square up three to five feet off of the net because that's where we should be setting the ball in order for that hitter to get a full swing um, and avoid going into the net. Okay. Now, even if I'm trying to set the right side or actually here, I'm going to, let's put this into practice here. So I'm going to toss it right, left, turn, and then set the ball, okay? So I'm able to turn, square up to my target, and then that's gonna give me the simplest set where I just have to set straight, versus if I don't square up, okay? And that was, that was probably a really bad example of that right step, okay? But if I don't square up, then I have to go cross the body and that becomes a harder set to do, which, you're gonna end up doing that in a game because sometimes you're in a desperate situation. But if I'm able to turn and square up, that becomes the easiest set for us to do. Now, say I'm trying to set to the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna square up to the outside because what we're trying to do is we're trying to present the exact same set uh, position so that the defense can't read us differently. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing for whatever, I, whatever set I'm, I'm putting up. Okay, so I'm still here square up, and now I'm gonna set back behind me for that C position instead, okay? So that's gonna make it so that defense can't all of a sudden be like, oh, look, he's got his back squared up to that right side, and he's gonna to try to set backwards, which that was a lousy set right there, okay? But that gives that defense an opportunity to see that and then to start to cheat over, okay? So I always wanna to try to turn and then set that ball oops, into that right side position or go to the um, middle position. I'm still going to turn and square up for the outside, but I'm going to set the middle instead. Sorry, we got jets 
flying over here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. We have a military airfield for the National Guard over there. And it's also just a, a regular airport there as well. So we'll wait. Okay. So right, left, square up, turn and set. Easy peasy. Now, even if we are landing on that right foot, okay, a lot of times what you'll see players do, we're gonna go right and then lift up this left anyway, horrible set, okay, but we're lifting up that left foot anyway, so we're technically taking a left step. I always say it's a ghost step, okay? So we start it and then we finish it after we are done sending that ball out, okay? So it'd look like this, right, left, and then set. Oh, too bad, okay? So, but I'm taking that step, left step, and then I am finishing it after the set, okay? So even if we're in that position, I'm planting the right, but I'm still picking up that left to try to turn and square up to that outside position. So again, it's not really the footwork, the sequence that we're using, it's are we squaring up in order to get that good lined up set? And every time I have changed this, here comes the Jets, Every time I have changed this with any of my setters, they've always been, when they go left, right, they've been inconsistent in that set. As soon as we make this change, in about five minutes of just doing this, they're setting just right on the money, okay? They become much more consistent, and it's so much easier for them to get into that position and set that ball, okay? So, now, to just kind of prove my point, here are some very good setters on very good teams using the right left. So here first, um, we have uh, Team USA, very good team, and they are using right left. Even if they're close to the net, you can see right, left. Okay, now we have Team Italy, very good team, very good setter, right, left. Now here's Team Brazil, Brazil, which is arguably probably the best in the world, like all together, just through like the last, I don't know, 30 years, they sh they're probably ranking number one out of all, uh, all the teams in the world. Okay, here's this drill. They get several setting attempts. And you can see that pretty much every single one. I think there's one in here where they use a left-right footwork, but every single one besides that is right-left. Okay, get rid of that right step. You don't need it. It's a waste of time, waste of energy, and oftentimes makes it so that you're a little bit too late on that set and you can't really get good consistent sets out of using that form uh, constantly, especially if you're forcing that step. Now, if you get into a position where you're like, oh, left, right, and then set, okay, that's fine. That's a natural way of doing it. But it shouldn't be something where I go right, left, and I'm already basically here, and then force that right step. I don't need it. Don't use it. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we will see you later.